about 10 years ago I fell in love and I know what you're thinking this is a gaming montage why are you talking about love but you see this is a gaming montage I gotta talk about love because this is something that I love and I've I found the strength to keep doing this, keep doing YouTube and Twitch and everything else. As little as I have been doing it, I only have the strength to do it the way that I have been, even because of the love that I have for her. So I was a runaway and I met this girl at this library down the street from where I used to live. And we hit it off instantly. We just clicked instantly. Everything between us was good. It was fucking perfect. Just like instant. Just a, a hodgepodge of, you know, good feelings. And we were together because we were, I was 16, she was 14. We were young. Call it puppy love. We didn't know what the fuck we were talking about. We talked about all the things that kids in love talk about, you know, we're gonna get married, we're gonna have kids, and we're gonna get a house, and we're gonna move here, and we're gonna start our own little clan, and I just fell in love with the whole vibe that we had together, not even knowing that it was a vibe, because I was, I'm 16, you know, I don't know what the fuck a vibe is, <laughs> no, you know, well, no one at 16 knows what the vibe is, but... I felt it and I fucked with that shit so hard. When you're a runaway, the only way you can make money is to leave. Nothing can stop. So that's what I was doing to support myself. And one night, my luck caught up with me. And I didn't see the light of day for a little bit over a year. So yeah, I got arrested and I thought, you know, it was over. Ten years, you know, I, we didn't see each other for ten years. I mean, I got out a year later, and the last thing I knew was that she was going to move to Detroit with her dad, which was a whole state away, you know. So I thought I was just never going to see her again. Find somebody else, forget about me, and you know, we just both move on. But uh, over the summer of 2019, I had this job where I caught the bus right across the street from where she used to live when we were teenagers, and that it just it fucked me up because I wanted to go knock on that door every fucking day. I just didn't have the balls to. I didn't have the balls, and and, and the fact that she moved away. I mean, you know, this house is probably owned by somebody else by now. So I just I never worked up the nerve. But then we actually found each other. And so now we fast forward seven years and it's 28, 2019 and I have this job where I'm catching the bus right across the street from where she used to live. And I didn't know it at the time but her mother still lived there. And all I had to do was knock up on the door and say, hey I used to date your daughter back when you didn't allow her to have a boyfriend. Is she, did you, can I talk to her? So I never did that. I never did that. I mean, I didn't know it. I don't think either one of us knew it. But we kind of cursed the walk this earth alone until we found each other again. And you know, we did a couple months later. And then a couple months after that, we make up for lost time. And then we find out that Anara is on the way. Right up. Right before I. I get to the point where I don't want to play Paladins anymore. We find out that Anara is on the way. And that's how I started my family. Some magical little story that sounds like somebody wrote it in a book or on a movie. That's my life. That intro looked real, didn't it? We'll talk about that stuff later. Right now, I want to talk to you about flow state. It's sound my daughter was on the way. I've been digging and digging and trying to find my own way into my flow state. I think
think I lost it. And what I mean by that is the very first thing <coughs> that triggered me to these thoughts of losing my flow state or being able to tap into it at will is I don't even play the game and enjoy things the way that I used to. And you can't flow that way. At that point in time in my life and about right after, everything started to feel like an uphill battle. Like I was water trying to go upstream and it just don't work that way. And so I started to looking into how do I reach my flow state, my max potential anytime I want to. And I dropped it for about two years. But this last year, I've been searching so deeply and so avidly that I've got so much that I can tell you. You probably think that I'm crazy. But I'm going to start telling you soon. In essence, flow state is characterized by the complete absorption in what you're doing and the resulting fact of it changing the way that you perceive time. I haven't felt this in so long, I'm starting to think that I lost it. The state is the, the state of melting together action and consciousness, the state of finding a balance between skill and difficulty. And I need to find my balance. Do you have yours? I need mine. I said too much. I gotta send you back. <laughs>